What's up everybody? You know what channel you clicked on. It's the Bright and Dad channel. If you don't know what channel, well, it's the Bright and Dad channel and my name is Chris. And today we're talking about the RAM mounts systems. So as you can see, I already have my phone mounted on this one. I have a couple different systems from RAM, uh, specifically a phone holder. I have my Power Vision for those of you who've seen my uh, either install or just me riding with my tuner, my DinoJet Power Vision. I have that mounted on a RAM mount. I use a RAM mount for my GoPro, um, just a couple different ones, and I am almost barely scratching the surface. So I'll show you guys a couple products I have them. And then like the title implies, I'm gonna give you my review on you know each and every one of the products and also the RAM system as a whole. We're gonna start off with the actual phone holder because I'm sure that's why most of you guys are here. And uh, to do that, I'll bring you guys closer, flip you around and show you exactly what I'm gonna be looking at. All right, so this is the actual phone mount. Uh, and there's these four rubber individual feet, which I'm not sure if they came glued, uh, but they are no longer glued on mine. I've had this phone mount for about three-ish, four-ish years, somewhere on there. They do have different sizes depending on what size phone, you know, or uh, I believe they even have ones for tablets. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, basically, these are spring-loaded. You flex them, put your phone in the middle. Here, why don't I just show you? You put your phone in the middle, make sure it's on the bottom, let them go. And this nine times out of 10 is how I will ride the motorcycle. Just with the phone in these rubber mounts, I have had zero issues. I've never had it start to come off. Um, granted, I've never been in a crash with this, thankfully, but I've never had any issues with this. Uh, if I do go on the highway or any very long distance, I will use the included. There's these kind of like rubber straps. Basically, you fold them over the edges of the phone, if I can do it here on the video, fold it over the edges of the phone, you do all four of them on each corner, and then that makes sure that your phone stays sucked into it and it doesn't come out at all. That being said, I will show you guys that unfortunately one of mine has actually snapped off. Now this is not a huge deal because as you just saw, if I do ever use these now, I pretty much just do the only the two because there's no point in doing four when one of them is broken anyway. So I basically just do the two of them at two points if I even use this kind of safety net, um, which RAM does recommend using obviously, but the majority of the time I just use the X grip, um, the actual fingers, and that's about it. And the cool thing about all of the RAM products, they have different size balls, but the majority uh, is this one inch ball size. And that's the vast majority of everything that you're gonna find. So this is the actual grip itself. You'll see it has this rubber ball on the end and then it attaches to an arm. And they have several different lengths and styles. They have uh, like big, long, flexible ones that I'll show you in a, in a few minutes here. And then this specifically is a small, in this style they have a small, a medium, and large. They have them in plastic, and then they also have them in metal. This one happens to be metal, but I have a bunch of different ones. The metal does, I will be honest with you, feel a lot sturdier and just better construction than obviously plastic, as you would assume it would. But if you're trying to keep the weight down, the plastic, I've never had an issue with it. I use it on my other bike. The plastic works very well uh, and it is a considerable amount lighter. But basically the way these work, if you have a medium or a large, you will have a spring in there, but the smalls, there's not enough room and you basically just loosen it. It's able to accept a ball on each end and then you just tighten it down on the rubber balls. So now I'm gonna get onto, on this bike, uh, the mount that I have, which is the mirror stem mount. They have a couple different sizes of the actual mounting area, as well as, like I said, the ball size for the whole series. But this one just basically goes under my mirror stem in between the stem and the perch, and it's just a ball. Um, they have a bunch of different ones. What I do not have is one specifically for the stem kit. Um, for the fork stem and it actually just goes in there and tightens uh, and there's like a little ball that you can rotate depending on where you want it 
and it's kind of like a unisize. It basically is one size fits all. You just trim this like little rubber, I guess bushing is the best word for it, that fits in there. Um, and it'll go different sizes depending on what depth and uh, diameter you need for your fork stem. And then it basically, like I said, just has the ball and then you can put anything. You can put your phone right there, or, uh, GPS mount or anything like that. Something else that I want to show you uh, before we head on over to the other bike and I show you some of the different mounts that I have utilized from it and talk about some of the other ones is also the suction cup mount. Uh, this is very similar to the GoPro suction mount if you've ever used that, which I'm sure probably the vast majority of you guys have since that's kind of what I feel like most of us have used in the past for you know any kind of action camera mount or any kind of mount in general for most things because for a long time that was one of the only ones that were available. Anyway. Um, it's very self-explanatory. There is a little uh, kind of like switch toggle to push the suction up, like the actual cup of it. There's an on off, so it's, you know, you can't really get confused. So make sure it's on the off position, put it wherever you want, turn that dial to the on, and it sucks it up there. At this point, you get one of your handy dandy arm mounts. Get your phone mount or whatever else you wanted to mount it, like a GPS mount, depending on what you're looking at doing. Screw it on there. Let's say you want it like that. And then you're done. Now, I don't know offhand, honestly, because it doesn't ever have it posted on any of the sites that I look at. I don't know if this is rated like the GoPro one is for like outside, you know, up to a certain mile an hour wind speed or something like that, that they guarantee it for. But I will tell you as far as like a car mount, like inside a window or even on a bike mount for, for some of the shots that I've gotten, uh, it works really good. Uh, I would be cautioned. I don't feel like this sucks down as much as the GoPro. So I'm not sure if it would be, you know, for action camera outside kind of stuff as good of a mount, but for interior of vehicles, 100%, I would recommend this. And it's very easy to use, and like I said, it, the nice plus is that it has the ball already mounted right on there. You can put whatever mounting system that you want from RAM right on there. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is what I have set up for my DinoJet PowerVision, which is the fuel tuner I have mounted here. So I have a bar mount, and they have a couple different styles of this, but I have a bar mount on the actual riser that is bolted down that comes with a couple different adjustments and they have a couple different sizes as well for that and i have a medium metal arm on this and then over here you can see this circular mount which is actually the wrong one because at the time the site told me the wrong mount they have a square mount that mounts to this dino jet um, like kind of quick release with little sunshade visor thing um, but anyway this i mean i made it work i just drilled another hole and called it a day but this is just basically a circle and they have like i said a couple different mounts different shapes different uh cutouts for the holes and everything and patterns but this mounted to this piece of plastic and that allows me to run this in any kind of configuration i want up here or different places but obviously this is where i feel like it's best for me all right so before i talk about this contraption i got going on here i want to talk about this uh i bought this originally when i was messing around with the dino jet mounts and i wound up not using it at all but this is just kind of one of those things that i told you about that they have a bunch of different kind of arm mounts anyway uh you see two ball mounts on either side obviously this is quite obviously adjustable for angle and then each of these ball mounts you can rotate they have different little like clip positions that lock in for security and you can rotate these all depending on where you're at because with the RAM system, since it is a ball that pivots with an arm on the other end of it, you do have to make sure that wherever you're pivoting it is in line with the cutouts of the arm mount. I mean, you can always rotate it, but you will have to make sure that it's in the correct spot to pivot. So having these rotate really does help with any kind of weird unconventional uh, mounting that you might have. All right, now let's talk about my favorite one. And this is going to be the double ball perch mount from Ram. So Ram offers a couple different styles for this kind of mount as well. They offer one, um, which I originally put on my Dyna, the first experience I had with Ram, which is basically just this piece without this middle ball. It's just a, a stick with a ball on top. Then they offer this, which the middle ball is actually removable. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like just a bolt pattern in there and you can remove the middle ball if you would like or replace it with a different sized ball or some other kind of attachment. Um, and it came with screws. I will wind up replacing these because as you can see these for whatever reason, um, the finish did not hold up. So I guess that's the only thing I can knock RAM on so far. 
Um, so I will be replacing these with probably some grade eights or something from Ace Hardware. But anyway, the perch mount, it comes with uh, a couple different size screws, um, both fit for metric and, metric and standard bikes. So you don't have to worry about buying like a specific one for yourself. And then, like I said, two balls, and then it comes with uh, plastic spacers, a couple different sizes, if I recall, at least one size uh, to mount in between your perch. Because if you were to mount this, at least on a Harley, directly to the perch, you would wind up hitting it and you wouldn't actually be putting pressure on the bolts and everything. You'd be putting pressure on the middle of the perch, which is not good. And you'd be scratching it too. So you can, uh, I hope you can see there's little oval cutouts. It's not just a single size for the bolt. So they accommodate many different sizes, uh, bolt for bolt patterns for whatever perch you might have. So these are on some of the widest settings there. And obviously, like I've already said a million times, <laughs> there's two bolts on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my usual setup is for this. I'll usually put a plastic composite mount, small, on the bottom and run the phone mount there with the phone right up and down. And then this mount is actually a medium metal mount as well. Uh, and you can see, like I said, the medium and the larges do have a spring in there to just assist while putting it on. So for me, I usually run this one on the top. And then as you can see, this is just a GoPro attachment. It's a one piece from Ram. The ball is on the bottom, the GoPro is on the top. And that is what I will run for kind of my facing back at me GoPro shots. While these are all on, all you have to do to change it is loosen it a little bit so there's a little bit of friction still. It makes it easier, it stays in place, you don't need two hands, and you can just move this. As you see, all this is able to move. Say I wanted to turn my GoPro around, just loosen it a little bit. You can change that as well. When you're done, tighten it all up. So one of the cool things about RAM, and it's not mostly about RAM as it is about other companies realizing the versatility of RAM and the durability of the systems. Um, there's a company called Quadlock that makes a couple different things. We're not really going to talk about them today because this is already kind of a sneak peek into, you know, some other video that I'm going to be posting. But basically Quadlock makes, it's very close to the, uh, I believe it's called Rock Form. That is very expensive that a lot of people are going to. Basically your phone using a magnet system clicks in, locks, and there's no, uh, you know, no adjusting with it. And there's no fiddling with it and making sure you get the stuff right it just takes a second to put on a second to take off and it's really good so this company quadlock basically makes uh this a similar version of that attachment um, they make a case that fits with it basically has the same kind of thing and then they have the attachment points which you can order in different colors this is going on the blue grom i'm going to order if i like it i'm going to order a black i'm getting ahead of myself that's a, that's a new video anyway it comes with a ram mount ball on the end where you can just put on whatever attachment style you have, snug it up, and then it basically works exactly like the rock form one, if I can figure this out. First time I've ever put it on the bike, and then it snugs in to release it, you'll hit that thing, so. So someone like me who has a lot of faith and trust in the product as well as a myriad of RAM mounts, it's pretty cool that I can buy something like this for half the price of a rock form, uh, way more than, way less than half the price of a rock form, but basically have the same concept and be able to still use my trusted and mounted RAM devices. So the only complaints I have is like you saw on my Harley, the bolts were rusting, we talked about that, and then the fact that this uh, kind of ripped. I will say those bolts are the same bolts I use on my Dyna, which is three years ago. I've been caught in the rain many times, uh, and this is also the same phone mount. So this is going on three years old, and those bolts are still holding up. Uh, you know, regardless if they're rusty or not, they're actually still working fine. And then this still works. Like I told you, I barely even use this anyway. That's how secure this mount is. The only other thing I will say is uh, when I was in Taylor Dragon, I put the cover on my bike a lot because it was crappy weather half the time. And these rubbers, like I said, they're not glued on for the phone mount. And they're very, they, they don't feel it with your hands, but anytime you get on material, especially like a nylon motorcycle cover, it's stuck like crazy to this. So something, I, like I said, not a negative thing. I mean, you want it to be sticky, just something to keep in mind. So if you are using a cover for your bike regularly, just know that it's, I mean, that cover, it stuck so hard to these that it actually pulled one of them off and, and knocked it on the ground. So these are very sticky with any kind of material besides your hands. Your hands, you can feel that they're rubber, but it doesn't feel like super sticky, but yeah, en enough of that. 
So that's gonna conclude my kind of overview and review of the RAM systems that I have. Every product that I showed you that I have has been linked individually in the description below, as well as a general link to all of the RAM product, like homepage kind of thing. Um, so. I would definitely check them out if you're in the market for something like this, specifically a phone holder. Uh, I think so far the most discreet one is definitely this mirror mount. It's very cool, but the kind of tie for discreet, bang for buck and everything is definitely that double ball mount that I have on the perch. It's a little bit expensive, but comparing that you have two balls for it and a little bit more versatility as far as how you mount the cell phone mount and how you mount maybe a GoPro or a GPS or something like that, I definitely, I really like that mount. Uh, I think that mount's gonna follow me on every single bike I have. I just got the small mirror mount partially to try it out because it was cheap and also just because I know the only thing I'm gonna have on this is a phone because I have my actual GoPro mount in the front on the plastic. I would never hard mount a plastic GoPro mount on my lowrider. So now on to me. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chris. This is my 2020 Grom. That's my 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. I do vlogs, I do stuff like this, reviews, I do install videos. Um, if you don't know anything about me, I do have a kid coming up, a second kid in about two weeks. So I'm saving a lot of my build videos and review videos for when I'm kind of stuck home, um, taking care of the kid and uh, helping my wife out with stuff. So I do have some install videos already lined up coming up for the Grom that I plan on doing. Some other stuff for the Harley, but I also did a lot of stuff already and there is a playlist devoted to that build series as well as there will be a playlist devoted to the series uh, for the Grom as soon as I start doing it. If you like this video and if you got any kind of useful information or just enjoyed hearing me blabber about it uh, at all, please hit the like button. I really do appreciate it and it helps the channel a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up for the channel, so make sure you turn on post notifications and you can't do that without hitting the subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram as well. That's the easiest way to send me a comment or a question or anything like that, or just ask me more in depth about any of the gear that I use or have. And as always, comment on the YouTube videos because that helps everything as well. Right there's the video that YouTube thinks you're gonna like, and right there is a video that I just recently uploaded. Make sure you click on one or both of those, and until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad, out.